Tongan people are so nice. <laughs> Assigned to labor in the Fiji Suva mission. What's, What's up, up, Sunshine, Sunshine Nation? Nation? You guys, welcome to our channel, Sunshine welcome Mafia. Back. Welcome to the series of us going to Tonga. This is part four. With HXP. If you haven't seen the other three, go check them out right now. We got the video right. links in the description right now. Look in the description. This is part four, guys. We went to Tonga with HXP. It's called Humanitarian, Humanitarian Experience. Experience. And basically what they do is they give opportunities to youth and leaders, like parents, parents to go out. They call us students. builders. And we get a chance to go out and build, in this service. case, humanitarian work. Yeah. And what did we do in Tonga? In Tonga, we built a house for a family. That's right. So that's what this whole series is about. Our experience there, experiencing the culture, meeting the people, and building a house. Yes, it was amazing. This right here is for all your dads. So if you're watching this and you have a dad, or if you are a dad, we just want to put a shout out and let you guys know that this is an amazing experience to go on. Now they do one dad and one mom per trip. I got a chance to be the dad. Man, I'm telling you what, what a life-changing experience, right? Yes, and you meet lifelong friends in the country and, and the people who are with your group. So it's just amazing overall. Yeah, and so I know sometimes it might you might be thinking in your head, I don't want to go with my kid because I don't want them to think I'm watching them all the time. I want them to be free to do things. So did you think that you were able to be on the trip? And did you feel like I was like Ooh, hovering over you? Or how'd you feel? No, for the most part, I was hanging out with my friends, doing whatever I felt like I wanted to do. So, but we had a good time. We were able to hang together. But I was able to help um, work with and become friends with and mentor and learn from 18 other yeah. teams. So that's the thing, he's not just the dad of me. He's the dad of the entire group. So he's right. out there helping everybody and I'm hanging out with everybody. One of the highlights for us was the people, the people on the trip. The people in Tonga, the Tongan people are so nice. I've never been anywhere where everyone is so nice. You'll be crossing the street, everybody will be waving at you. Yeah. Everybody, everybody Everybody's you always waving, waving and saying hi. So this video is all about our experience with the people. We get a chance to spend time with them. We get a chance to go into their homes. It's we amazing. get a chance to dance, learn dances and culture yes. from learn them. Learn more about their culture. It was just amazing experience. And this also is our last day on the work site and coming home and some of the cool sites that we got to see. Yes. Of course, moms can do it too, but they really have a shortage of dads. Do something that's life-changing. It was life-changing for me. It was life-changing for you? Life-changing for me, for sure. And always remember to spread sunshine. What's up, buddy? It's the court tonight, and we're playing some basketball here right now. We're coming to play. <laughs> this is Moses. Hi, Moses. This is a little snuggle bug. Yeah. Yeah, you're so cute. We're just besties now. So in the culture night, we shared culture with each other and they taught us a traditional tongue and dance and we went and taught them a country line dance. <laughs> Cotton on Joe. Where, where do you want to go? Cotton on Joe. Where did you come from? Where did you go? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
pretty good? Since the bishop taught us their traditional dance, we're doing the Cotton Night Joe line dance here. We're teaching it to them. Let's go see how it goes down, baby. Because if it hadn't have been for Cotton Night Joe, I'd have been married a long time ago. Coolest things for us was to have family night with the different families. Yes. They split it up, split up into groups of three. I got a chance to go to a different house than Jordan went to, but we spent time with families and it, that was my, one of my favorite things. It was really amazing, yeah. So we got to go out with a family and we, that was the first time really we split up from the group and we're all splitting up and we really could get one-on-one -on -one with a family and talk with them and it was just amazing. Learn more about the culture and how they live there. It was amazing. So the family that we're building the house for, they are special. Um, we just really enjoy spending time with them. They have such giving hearts. Yes. And, you know, this is uh, Selah is a grandmother who is, has her kids and her grandkids living there in their home. And they provide such a wonderful home for them. And so it's a good opportunity for us to be able to give them more space as a family. There's a lot of people to, that need um, a roof to sleep over under. Yes. There's a lot of them right now. To be able to meet them and spend time with them, and now I consider them lifelong friends. And now we personalize it. We know who we're building the house for, and they're our lifelong friends, and we love them. Yes. So we love you, Selah, and the family, and we hope to see you again. We'll spread the gospel wide through all the earth with Jesus as our guide.
Dallas. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Thank you. Hi, my name is Masina. All right. Hi, my name is Sita. That's Sita. <laughs> Hi, my name is Lita. Lita. <laughs> oh, look at all of this. Look, you see everything they have. Burgers, wings, fries, yogurt, yogurt, everything. Oh my goodness, coconuts. <laughs> it's amazing. It is amazing. <laughs> Sunshine Nation. So we are here at Tsunami Rock. It has four different names because of so many different legends and things. They cannot figure out exactly how this rock got here. So the cave, you can see in there. The legend says that there was like a cannibal that lived here and these people saved the lady by telling her that there was a cannibal there and so she was saved. A lot of interesting stuff, man. If you like dig deep, Find some stories. I'm not climbing to the top. I'm not climbing to the top because I'm afraid of the drop. It's not bad. You can do it. Got this. See, I have a lot of encouragers here. Dude, stop thinking about how you can climb this rock, bro. We're gonna head to the beach next. We're going to the beach, I think. Go and swim! We're gonna go swim? Yeah. Yeah. Are you gonna swim too? Yes. Nice. We're going down to the beach. Oh, this is so cool. Wow, look at this amazing walk to the beach. Oh, look at that. Around the corner and here we go. We're in a little cove right now. It's pretty nice. Yeah, kind of cool, right? It's the kind of stuff you see in movies. Yeah, it is. And you have a guitar. I was just making up a song. Fills up in between the rocks. You can kind of see down in there. Oh, here it comes. Fills it up. That water fills it up and then goes back down. There you go, Jojo. know Jackson right? Yes. My name is Teo Puaura Lee. Yeah he came back from Hawaii at BYU Hawaii where Jackson is. I'm Lilio Tuitavake Lee now and I'm from Tonga. Thank you guys for helping us out. 
All right, anything you want to tell Jackson on this video? Yo, drumming is amazing though. Keep going. <laughs> Thank you. It's awesome. I love everything about this. Yeah. Give it a 12. Sunshine. Sunshine. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Go. <laughs> Is that hilarious or what? The Honolulu Caves right here, bro. Honolulu <laughs> Cave? Honolulu, yes. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. It's a cave. We're about to go sit in it. And there's water in it. And you can jump into the water. Salt water cave? Nah, fresh water. This is the walk down to the cave. Let's do it. We're going down deep, 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 deep in the ground. This is kind of like the devil's den in Florida. It actually reminds me a lot of it. Okay, it's getting real dark in here now. See the light? Yeah, these are like caverns, guys. Look at them. You see the stalactites? Stalactites and stalagmites. So we're in this amazing cave, and these guys are jumping off of cliffs in the cave. You can go swimming in the cave. This is crazy. You can see around here, they just have lights in here, so that's why you can see. I'm just gonna go down and try to get into the water. This is it. What's up, these guys are all climbing up. So I went off the big jump, I went off the little jump. I can't believe how well they're climbing around, jumping right off into the water. I personally took a long time. It was harder for me to get there than it was for me to actually jump off of it. This is awesome stuff, man. If you ever get to Tonga, you gotta check out these caves, do some diving, enjoy the water. That's what I'm talking about. Love God, love people, spread sunshine, and we out. So we had a game night there, and we were yeah. out there playing some fun games. Man, you know, we to play with all the kids. All the kids were there, we were all playing games. In simple games, like duck, 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 goose. duck, 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 goose, goose. We did that, that My was funny. Favorite, be like, duck, duck, goose, duck, and then you run, because trick them, right? We all had a lot of fun. Sharks and minnows, another fun one. <laughs> This is Moses here. Hey, Moses. Is he gonna be living in the house? Yeah, Moses is super excited. Moses is trying to look at himself. <laughs> Good to see you, Moses. What's going on here tonight? Uh, we're just doing like a getting together with the ward here and having some fun. They said they have a surprise for us. Very exciting. Yes. All right, Moses. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. Hi. Started like a impromptu dance party, so we went in there and had a dance party, and I got to dance with our friend who we were building a house for.
amazing. <laughs> On the work site today. We're on that work site. Working back in the tub. This is where we mix our cement with just straight shovels and, and rocks. Back in the tub. You fill in the holes between the bricks. William, show me how it's done. See how it's done, William. It's that nice. <laughs> dude, I'm a freaking pro. It was all right, dude. Did you see that? My boy B writes over here. Hi, mom. Just the pressure. When I wasn't videoing, you were doing great. Okay. <laughs> this house here that we're building is for this family here. Everybody come for a quick! Yeah. Hey guys. Hi Moses. Hey Anna. Last day, baby. Gotta get your hugs in. Gotta get my goodbyes tomorrow. We go to the temple and fly back. Cuties. It's about to finish here in the site. The work is done. Yeah. We did it too fast, so now we need to leave early and let the other group come and finish off the house. Yeah, so all of this right here is where they got to. Yeah. Ready to go? Now we're gonna get lunch and go to the beach. But I love William, I love everybody here, and I'm gonna miss him. It's gonna be sad, but I'm gonna come back. for the last time. Yeah, I can't believe we're leaving. So long, Tonga. Till we meet again, Tonga. Red yeah. sunshine, Tonga. Oh. We're going to the craft market. The craft market. Then we gotta get gifts for our families. Then, then, then we're going to the to Tonga. <laughs> they are acting crazy and being crazy. And then there's Jordan. Like, man, I'm staying dry. Sunshine Nation, another sensational beach here in Tonga. You can actually walk out on this water all the way out to that right there. You can see behind us all the people. It's our last day in Tonga and we are spending just a little bit of time going to the beach. Yes, a nice beach. Well, watch, kind of a lot of rocks here, and it's, uh, but it's fun. We out. One of the cool things about Tonga is that they take bread and they rip it open and, and, and then they, they put ice cream inside of it. Hands. So it's like an ice cream cone, but with bread. Two of my favorite things. And you just bite the bread and eat the ice cream at the same time. <laughs> yes, sir. So that's what we're having tonight. 
It's like a bread. You gotta make a hole in it. It's like a bread bowl. It's all good in the hood. That's the way they do it, man. How we do it? Oh, man. here with the next group peace out Aki and we're flying over to Fiji love you Brian for a layover to go back to America love you Aki love you Jordan and now Kate's gonna stay with us <laughs> Last time we're gonna see everybody here ever in our entire lives. We have a five hour layover together in Fiji. All right, we're getting on this flight, going to Fiji. <laughs> Headed to Fiji, baby. There's only one airline that flies to Tonga, and that is Fiji Airways. And we were in Fiji, and we didn't get to see Tyson, but we're at the airport, and we ran into two of Tyson's friends. They are going home from their missions, they're missionaries, and I just want to introduce you to them. This is Sister Call Hello. and Elder... Elder Johnson. Sunshine Mafia. There. <laughs> from Fiji, from Fiji. Yeah. Bula from Fiji. Bula. Crazy, just one of those tender mercies. Spread sunshine. I love my mission so much, and by all young men that go on a mission as well. Just like this, this fine young man here. Yes, nice. Hi, bro. And then right before we got on the airplane, there was a lady that came up to me and said, hey, are you the guy from the parent test? What? And I was like, yeah, I was. And then she was like, oh my gosh, I watched that show. I love that show. And uh, so we got a chance to meet. It's so crazy. It's such a small world. Small world. Not that small. Very small. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <Congratulations>. <laughs> That's it. So it's been a long journey, but we finally made it back and we're in Atlanta now and uh, <laughs> our luggage is in here. Which you know about the luggage stuff that happened before, but it's all good. But it has been almost 35, 40 minutes now. Been here for like an hour. Mom, Mariah, Juliana, and Jaden, and Jalon are here, like right now. And so we're just trying to get our luggage and get out there. We finally reunited after two weeks. Finally be with the family. Yep. Time to go on a journey. Another journey, but this time inside the States. We want to tell everybody at HXP, we love you guys. Thank you so much. This has been an amazing trip. Thank you so much. Always remember, love God and love people and spread sunshine. <laughs>